having so much fun. <laughs> having so much fun doing this shit. All right, we got mom's book collection. I don't know who mom is, but all right, mom. Here we go. One, these feel like they feel fake. <laughs> like these feel fake. These are too, too nice. And see that there is, this is a big YA fantasy lover. Um, we see the candles. I'm not a big fan of candles being displayed on shelves. Cause look, we got this going on and I don't think this like, I don't think it works the big to small here, but then we also have this going on and this going on. So there's a lot of candles. I don't know why all this other stuff is happening around it, to be honest. Um, I think the best place to display a crown like this is on a stack of books. I think it looks, a crown looks fantastic on a stack of books. I love these color pages out. I love this. I wish there was more of like a reasoning behind why they're here because we have a lot of purple happening on this end, but not so much on this end. And I'm just wondering what the reasoning is there for it. But I think that these are mostly done by height because then we have this shelf. This shelf is so fucking satisfying. Definitely a bookstagrammer shelf. Um, it's, I love this shelf. I love it. Um, I think I think even this one's fine. I don't really understand what's happening on all of it, but I like it. Um, and the top shelf I'm sure is fine too, but um, I'm interested to see again what the rest of the shelves look like because this is just, they even put just part of my bookshelves. Um, so I would love to see what the rest of it looks like and if it's, it's thought out. And I'm gonna put under all inspiring. I don't think it's quite to the goals level, but it's really lovely to look at. And I feel like, um, I would like a shelf that looked like one of those. All right, mom, whoever mom is, you did good. You did good. Oh, okay. 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 I feel like I'm going to get into a little bit of what I was saying with um, some shelves that look a lot the same. Because if you told me this was a different shelf than I think one that we looked at earlier, I wouldn't be certain. It's good. I There's a little bit of color organization, but it seems to only really be happening up here. Um, but the books that are displayed are beautiful. I feel like this is a really nice gradient happening up here. Like, this gradient is really nice. I wish people wouldn't leave the center ones empty. If you are going to fill any shelves, fill the middle ones first. The top, like, three shelves, or I guess, like, the top, yeah, the top, like, three shelves are, like, your most important ones to fill. Not even the top top. Like, these middle two here. Fill those first. Those are the ones that your eye is going to be drawn to. I think that they're organized pretty well. We do have some, like, weird... There's, like, some height organization happening in this row. But not so much here. And there's... I don't like... If you're gonna stack... Don't stack on the two same shelves. I wouldn't stack on the two same shelves because look, this looks like it's a whole continuation of something, even though it's not. Um, so if you're going to move this stack over here or vice versa, um, just to split it up a little bit. Also, I, I would honestly recommend doing a stack in the middle of a shelf as well because it breaks up, especially if you have like, see these books are too tall and then these ones are shorter. If you put a stack in the middle, it breaks those up so they don't look so different necessarily i think these are fine um i'm not gonna go too much more into those there's also i just realized there's not really any knickknacks like um some some stuff on the top here would be great um even just displaying a book outwards here would be great so they're just missing a little bit more life some people really don't like putting knickknacks on their bookshelves but put the knickknacks on your bookshelves damn it do it there is a tasteful way to add them in <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow. 10 out of 10. Truly amazing. Oh, you know what I know what immediately jumped out to me? This Chuck Palahniuk book. Did you know I fucking love Chuck Palahniuk? That is immediately, and I can tell you this is damn definitely the look of someone who is moving. <laughs> this is definitely the look.
Like you kind of like put them in piles to figure out what you're gonna Oh wait, we haven't even seen the best of it. When it's so bad, you have to stack them the other way. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well now they know. Okay, anyway. Were you using the flask? I feel like it seemed necessary at some point during this process. This is just hurting my soul. Oh, and the fact that some of these look like they're upright and then they're stacked in front. Who doesn't need a flask? I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I have a whole collection of flasks. I have a collection of everything, you know? See what the other pick looks like. <gasps> Hello Fresh! I do love Hello Fresh. Kaz. Kaz. The stacking of the books. Sideways. Disgusting. Disgusting. I hope that you're like mentally well in when you have to walk into this room because I think that I would sit down and cry. Yeah. All right, Kaz, I'm not even gonna put you on the on the tier ranking because that's, that's a bit of a mess, okay? That's a bit of a mess. I have Charlene's, Charlene's, these are so nice. Uh, these are so wholesome and cute. Uh, these are so cute, Charlene, I love Height organization. You got height organization going for you. A little bit of a mess on the top. Is this an audiobook? Is this an audiobook? Is this? Do I want to know what this hole is? I think I do like that this is kind of like organized. This is an organized mess. I would also like to see just a little bit more you. Some more personality hanging in here. Uh, we have like a cup. And we have some little plants, but I think if you put a big plant up here that trailed down along the side, that would be lovely. Or even just had some books that were facing outwards to break it up a little bit. There are donos, but you could, you know, your donation books. What I do is sometimes I have a basket like you have. It doesn't look like there's anything here beside your shelf. Add a basket and put your donation books there. Even if it's like a wicker basket, like a tall, like almost looks like a hamper basket, put them there. And then when you go to donate them, you just pick up the basket and take the basket with you. You don't have to look at them. I think that these are going to go in the needs improvement. Like, you got some good bones. Allie, the professional shelf decorator. I wish. I really want to do a series where I come and make over people's bookshelves. <laughs> Someone pay me <laughs> to go make over bookshelves for a living. First of all, I do want to say, let's start with the good things, okay? Height organization. We love height organization. Also, you have crown molding on your ceiling, you fucking rich bitch. What the hell is this shit? Crown molding on your fucking ceiling? Oh, fucking K. All right, sure, just show the rest of us poor bitches up. It truly is a Scholastic Book Fair. There's a shit ton of series here because I know Gavin. I love that we have some little bit of trinkets here and there, but it's not... <laughs> it's not overdoing it. I haven't... We're not counting the top yet. It's not overdoing it yet. <laughs> no, there's candles. I feel like they're placed in a way. It's not like overbearing. I'm not like, oh shit, that's a shit ton of candles. Like it's not overbearing. It does look a little chaotic. I just don't like black bookshelves, which is saying something because it's my favorite color. If these were white, one, they would blend into the wall and it would make the books really pop, you know? Um, other than that, I love this little like, it's like a little corner. I love the little corner. Um, and I do like all the standees. I just think there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. If it was more focused on, like, I know Frostheart is, like, Gavin's favorite series. If we kind of remove the other ones and maybe they were seasonal and we move those out seasonally. And we spread out the Frostheart one so it was more of a, just the shrine to the Frostheart on top. It would look really well put together. It's just a lot to look at right now. And I do think right now my eye goes immediately here and not here. It, well, 
besides the mushroom, it goes up here and not on the shelves. So I feel like I'm missing so much. Something else I fucking love. I am all about this bookshelf in the middle of the room. I love this. I love a bookshelf in the middle of a room. Not enough people do it probably because they don't have enough room. But I love it. A little bit more organization, organization could be had. These make me nervous on top. There's very high stacks happening that are making me nervous, especially this one on the end, making me very nervous. This is Stephen King. Just throw it in the trash. You don't need those. Just throw them in the trash. Thriving to think this service is free? <laughs> Fancy. Fancy motherfucker up in here with these custom fucking covers. Oh my god, Gavin is just calling me poor in 10 languages today, and it's upsetting me. See some breaking up of some of the stacks of books, because I feel like it's overwhelming to look at them all. I would love to see some breaking up with like more like knickknacky things like this, but like in a few other spots. I do love the middle shelf. That's brilliant. And I love that. I've only ever seen like one other person do an island shelf. Um, and that was Tilly. If anyone remembers when Tilly, Sh Tilly was massive on Tumblr, then did booktube for a while and then stopped. They are all inspiring because it's such a massive and unique collection extreme makeover booktube edition i would love to i want to so bad i want to give people the library makeover of their dreams you know Margaret is also a booktuber um we are not getting anywhere close to all the books that margaret has and i know that she just sent me her percy jackson shelf <laughs> She loves Percy Jackson. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> Margaret, it's a mess. I do like these candles are kind of displayed and I feel like I have to tilt my head. Why is this picture taken this way? Um, I feel like the candles probably have to do with Percy Jackson. I don't know why head Hedwig is here. I do like the owl mug. It's cute. I don't, I don't like TBR jars. And I really don't like TBR jars in like a spaghetti sauce. Can. What the, wait, what's wrong with, what did I, oh, with the jar, the TBR jar, I just feel like there's better ways to have a TBR jar. Rest of Margaret shelves, so I can't fully understand what's going on. Um, I don't know why the hat is here. It could be displayed better, to be honest. I don't particularly like the TBR jar, but I think overall it's fine. Okay, needs improvement, because I feel like, um, I don't know. Like, there's some organization happening in there, but I can't really tell what's going on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this under um sure. I'm gonna put it under um sure just because I can't tell what the hickety heck is happening elsewhere. Charlene! Charlene, 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 Charlene! Please don't put no trash bag on your shelves. Her shelves were a mess beyond repair. There's no beauty, but there's a pillow shoved in this middle shelf, Charlene. I was experimenting with oil cleansing. I was wondering what was happening here. A jar of pee. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's... Kaz still has UB in the mess category. <laughs> I'm not too sure why the pillows are here, but it's fine. Canisters of suspicious things are not choice for shelf decor, but could be comfy, right? Like you're like, I'll oh, guess I'll sit on this today. All right, what a mess! Y'all are a mess. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. I'm concerned. I can already tell you that I am concerned. There's cheeses. There's cheeses on this shelf. <laughs> Over here, there's Cheez-Its. And there seems to be a small shelf over here. I feel like this is probably beyond <laughs> a TBR card at this point. We are double stacking at this point. Um, There is an attempt to like display some things where possible. So I like the attempt. I feel like big bookshelf at this point would actually be fantastic. Because it, this looks like the perfect amount of books for... A, a just a normal size shelf and still have room for some of these these knickknacks because this is someone who has started collecting books and seems to be collecting books seriously 
but just doesn't seem to have no room for them. Oh no, not the mismatch. Not the mismatch heights of the books in a series. Not the mismatch heights. Oh, my heart. My heart hurts for the mismatch series of the books. I think starting out, they're fine, but they could be better. You know, with some time, they could be better. Also, they're not close together. I would have liked to have seen them like kind of close, closer together. Like these two shelves shoved together and then put the cart in the corner. If you put the cart in the corner, that's a little bit. Put these together, the cart in the corner. I don't know, that just looks a little bit more deliberate. So, um, sure. Shelves do become temporary storage. I don't even want to talk about all this shit I have shoved in my shelves at some point. Megan, these, these are interesting because this is an interesting shelf. This seems more like a display shelf to me. This doesn't seem like a bookshelf because look, we got like a lot of like knickknacky stuff to display. These are collector's books. This is artwork. I feel like it would be better if it was a color. If this was like a green shelf or a blue shelf, that would be interesting. I think this is fine. Uh, you know what I would do actually? This Wizard of Oz book looks like it has a stunning cover. This should be outward facing here. Put this artwork in between um, here. So then you have a large thing here and then um, smaller things in the middle. Because right now the this either that or these, the stack of book needs to be moved to the middle, the middle part, because it's not symmetry. The Alice in Wonderland shelf, I feel like could it looks a little empty on this side, but I'm I have a feeling that we'll get there. We'll get there. It is interesting that this one back here is like behind this. Tell, like this is a, just a weird shelf because like these shelves on the here on the sides here are like worthless it, there's a lot of knickknacks happening on the top and i would like for some of them to be moved throughout like you got all this empty space here down here at the bottom you got this book that's gonna fall off put something there i feel like if it's sporadic wow. i'm gonna put it under needs improvement i think i don't think they're quite meant to be like bookshelves bookshelves just the never-ending moving this around is gonna kill me. So I want to put it on our needs improvement, but I think for the most part they're fun. Those are some fun shelves. Cannon? Looking cute as hell. Looking cute as hell! Thank you. You can't be out here overshadowing this bookcase! Let me see this bookcase! I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to seduce me and make me forget about these beautiful shelves by outshining them with these cool ass pants by the way i fucking love these pants these are my favorite pants in the world i want a pair immediately i will say are you here to distract me from the fact that these bookshelves do not match are you trying to distract me because this one is wood and this one's white, and they are not the same height at all. Uh, if this is an Ikea shelf, I don't think this is an Ikea shelf, because this is a weird height for an Ikea shelf, but you could get an extender. The rainbow, though, is fantastic. I wish I could tell, though, is the rainbow, like, is are we going red to yellow to green to blue back to yellow, or... Are we going red, red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, green, blue? Like, I'm trying to see. I think the rainbow looks great. You know what else is looking fantastic? Height. Did you notice? You know how fucking hard it is to get a rainbow that is also height? That's some hard shit, okay? Congrats, Shannon, on on perfecting that uh you know what i don't like they're paperbacks personal preference i won't dock points off for that <laughs> they don't call me hardback hoarder for nothing really understand why the flat share is the only book out and about i don't know why that's the only one that's on display also why did we jump from blue to pink here I have questions about that, but we're going to ignore it. 
the pink should go after the purple because it should then round up to the red. That's how I look at the rainbow. Uh, I did notice the rainbow stops down here and we have some random books down here. Not too sure. Are these just like books we don't care about? Do you notice how large this gap is here? Look how large this gap is. Is that the camera angle or are we tr is the the shelf truly that like did we make the shelves that tall i think these these shelves are really lovely there's not any trinkets i would like to see more trinkets i like trinkets on shelves and i don't see any i do see this john green 10th anniversary edition pretty sure that's what this is i think they're good i think they're good i, I think they're fine and they're lovely. That's where we're gonna put it. Leela, these look like... These look like bookstagrammer shelves or booktuber shelves. Graphic novel collections over here. Always a plus. Um, this is lovely. This collection is lovely. I would love to see this. Further over, um, I don't know if y'all are noticing though, there is a lot of light happening over here. There's a lot of really bright, lovely colors. Oh, we got a full ass, a full ass TBR cart. Full as hell. Um, but then it's really dark over here. I can't tell, it almost, it seems like that might be the lighting, more so the lighting, because I can see that there are some bright books, but it looks really dark. Um, I like this corner. This feels like a good use of a corner, you know, when there's like a little tiny shelf between the corners, so it's not just like bang, bang, side by side. I like this. Um, I would love if this Alice Oseman collection was like in the center here. Put it, the, put that, put that shit front and center. I want to see it. I would like to see, I think, the color. I, but it does look like their height, a little bit of height. Um, and it does look like they're by genre. These are most likely over here. Your contemporaries. These look like fantasy. And I can see there's some Funkos. They're pretty spaced out. We also have some artwork that's probably relevant. We have, I love this. We have some breaking up of, of the, see how these ones are a lot shorter than these ones. We have, we've broken that up with some middle. Um, here and here. And they're not all side by side that that's good um so yeah i think i would like a little bit of this color that's happening over here to happen over here just to break it up a little bit um just because i feel like this is all really dark it just seems really dark to me there is some color happening though so i don't know i feel like it might just be the lighting lovely not enough plants it's fine not enough plants but you know it is what it is and i think this is really good it's a really nice collection um, it seems really organized. A lot of time went into putting things where they need to go. You know what? Let's put it in goals because I feel like this is a really, really strong, a really strong collection. It works. Listen. Listen. This is just rude. Honestly, this is just rude. This is- who has a room this big? Who has a room this big? I, I love a stat- I love a rainbow this way. I know it didn't work for Michelle, but I love a rainbow this way. When I had my shelves like this, I loved it. Um, this is a true flex on how many books you have, because you have to have a shit ton of different colored books to make a rainbow happen this way. From this far away to fit it all in. I can't fit my library in one picture because you can't stand back far enough to take a picture. So to be able to do that, the books on top are even a rainbow. And look at this. I love the staggering that some are up and some are down. So they work as the bookends, but they don't feel like they, they look like bookends. They're like so thought out. We have a little bit of staggering, but not really. Oh my god. Um, even these, I didn't even notice this because, like, your eyes are just so drawn to everything else that's happening. 
there are books down here that are turned around, I'm assuming, because they don't, they haven't been, have a room for yet, or they don't fit in. Um, but you don't even notice. You don't really even notice those until you're really getting into the details. Oh, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. I, lo I fucking love rainbow shelves. Rainbow shelves to me will never get old. And anyone who comes in here and is like, anyone who ever comes into comments and is like, oh my god, rainbow shelves. No one can be a real reader if you have rainbow shelves, which is absolute bullshit. Put your shelves how you want. I have a photographic memory. So I am more likely to remember the color of a cover than I am the actual title or author. So I'll be able to picture what a book color looks like before I'll ever put all the rest of the details together. They're really, that's a really large picture. Like how did, how, how, I'm just more in awe how we got the picture. That they have space for more. Yes, they have space for more books. All right, awe-inspiring goal. Goals happen in there. We got a system. I'm already nervous. Look, these are Bowie. Are these shoved in a corner? Are these CDs? Are these CDs? Have so a brown shelf, a black shelf, a white shelf, and a wooden shelf. This is another shelf down here that is wooden. We have a lot. There's a lot happening here. It's like there's some trinkets on top, which is fine. I like these bookends. I feel like we are just finding a space to try to put everything. Like, everything's just kind of shoved in. There is an order. Um, and actually, these, these book stacks are kind of in line with the height of the book. So that's nice. I like that. I, I really hate mixed match shelves. I just, I wish they were more cohesive. <gasps> the Akatar books aren't in order? Oh, they aren't in order. <gasps> I mean, my series aren't even together on my shelves, Gavin. Not even together. This is what I love all these graphic novels. And actually, this is a really good shelf for graphic novels. Um, because they need a good amount of support. They don't stand very well. So having, um, smaller shelves like this works really well. We have knickknacks. They just don't make any sense. Actually, this shelf looks fan- This- this shelf actually looks really nice. This shelf looks great. I really like this because, um, there's a lot, but it feels really bright and organized. A little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of mixed mats. It just looks like we are starting to match our shelves. I feel like you are just cramming things where they fit. And I get that. It's fine. It's under, um, sure. I feel like we could definitely grow from this. There's, I'm really nervous about those Boeing bookshelves. And the fact that we had so many different types of shelves. I love the trinkets that are on here. We have a T-Rex head. There's a T-Rex head! The ghostly lady. Another T-Rex head. This looks like a, a tarot cards. But there's no rhyme or reason. There's no rhyme or reason to these trinkets. There's a random... So this is like... Ner this is what I would call nerdy decor. Then we have a really sentimental picture. Better home and gardens modern farmhouse tea tea light don't think there's much organization happening it's a bit of a mess we do have matching shelves more dinosaurs i like all the dinosaurs we do have more matching shelves look at this absolute gem wow 90s throwback happening here We're fine i feel like there's just not i don't know if there's much organization Things kind of look thrown on here. They don't look very purposeful. It's improvement. Like a lot of it. Because, like, this is just a lot. You know, it's just a lot to get through. And I don't think I can do it all tonight. So, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.